Hello everybody, I'm John. I'm Keith. And we are playing Wind Waker today. So, I need to come up with a name. What's a good name? It could be anything. Keith is a great name. Okay, what's a funny name? John. You bastard. <laughs> was was uh, that not obvious? Was that joke in particular not obvious? You disgust me. Um. Um. Maybe we should have thought. Um. <laughs> God damn it. As you can see, I've been playing this one for the most part, but I haven't gotten that far because I'm shit at puzzle games. This game is my shit. I love it. Because this is one of the legends of which the people speak. You should at least give that, like, an epic mythology voice. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. Yeah, that's good. Hold on one second, there's a cable I need to move. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, Keith's ass, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom as a pig man. Sorry. Possibly even part bear. But then when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand... You know, I think there's a pig bear in my D&D books. A young boy, clothed in green, appeared as if from nowhere. Or the Kokiri Forest. You lazy legend tellers. <laughs> Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. Is this specific? And in the alternate universe, he died. Is this specifically referencing Ocarina of Time? Yes. This boy who traveled through time to save oh, the land was known wow. as the hero of time. <laughs> Ask that question yes, just yes. a little too soon. <laughs> Whoops. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think that's how you use the word fell. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero, because you can't just kill him. I imagine, like, reincarnation would kick in if you just killed him. Fair enough. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. You stabbed him in the face in Ocarina of Time. The people believed that the hero of time would once again come to save them. Once again come to save them. It doesn't even say once, it just says would again. Shut up. But the hero did not appear, because he was stuck in, uh, in Termina. Three days. Three, Three days. days. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods, who did nothing. Well, no, they didn't well, do nothing. They did something. In their last hours, Doom draw nigh, drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. And then they drowned. Yeah. Gods went all Noah on everyone's motherfucking ass. Yeah, except they all had to climb the mountaintops instead of ships. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. What I don't get is why the Rutos became a flying species instead of remaining a fish species. You couldn't wait until we got to Dragon Roost Island to cover that? It the memory me. of the kingdom vanished, but the legend survived on the wind's breath. Well, I'm currently thinking about it, so why would I wait to say it? But, like, it's fucking weird. On a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. An unspecified age. Might I add. Clothed in, clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. Every villain is lemons? Yep. Every villain is lemons. I'm glad you remember that. The elders wished only for the youth to know courage like the hero of legend. Which one? However, this takes place in the timeline where Adult Link seals Ganon. And then he goes back in time, so he's no longer existing in that timeline because he split off into a different timeline, resulting in the events of Majora's Mask. Isn't that vid? It's not how a timeline works, but okay. Well, it's not a timeline, it's a... Yeah, you know, when your timeline splits off with multiple options, it's, a it's officially not a timeline. <laughs> yeah, it's a multiverse. So that's a thing. Big brother! 
She's adorable. She is not technically holding that. It is very blatantly just floating between her hands. Apparently she has latent psychic powers. Oh my god, this was originally a GameCube game. Yeah. Big Brother! I will voice Link. All dialogue belongs to me as Link. <laughs> Gonna love to see your acting chops there. Where the fuck? Also, this is like the most expressive Link they've ever had, and it's beautiful and amazing. I knew you'd be here! I concur. Hehehe, he, he. this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea when I play with the gulls. I call it Ariel's Lookout. Pretty sure the person who built this place gave it a name, but... So do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? You dense motherfucker. Big brother, it's your birthday. I like how he's genuinely surprised, like, Oh yeah. That's right, I'm a gear closer to death. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. She's so lonely. It's a good thing I came to find you, so that way she won't be cripplingly lonely anymore. You should probably go home and see what your grandma wants, don't you think? You know, be her rational grandson. <laughs> Fucking call her, don't make it seem like you don't exist. What the wiggity whack. I, I kicked something in it. Oh. That's what that was. <laughs> That's where that noise explicitly came from. I kicked something. Okay. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. I remember. Link forgetting about his birthday. Believe it or not, when you get older, you honestly just stop caring about your birthday. You just become a year closer to death. Maybe you occasionally make cake. I don't know. Except my birthday always ends up on Marvel movie release dates. See, that's something to remember. Cause that's the only reason I give a shit about my birthday. Is you can have Thor a came out on my birthday. Iron Man 3 came out on my birthday. We're going to have Civil War on my birthday. We're going to have Civil War? Yeah. That's not good. People die. It's going to be awesome. I actually haven't watched any of the trailers for it because I want to go into it as unspoiled as possible. Because I loved The Winter Soldier. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> I'm looking for you. Um... <laughs> Um, oh god, she needs to go into try a home. These on. Oh, oh god! Oh, I didn't realize how awesome this name choice would be. <laughs> that was yes. the worst high five we've ever fucking done. No, fair but fair. to be fair, we... <laughs> there we, there go. we go. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Apparently she's fucking Irish. You got the hero's clothes. She is not the narrator. They, like you they might be a little warm for this weather. <laughs> fucking asshole. Don't look so disappointed, you ungrateful motherfucker. Dear one, just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of all spoken of all in the legends. Do, do I need to take over for you? No. Because you appear to be fucking as, shit at this. As the young hero spoken of in all the legends, you only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. Did they, like, Go pass... suffer a heat stroke. Did, did they just pass the, that outfit around between everyone? Because, like, th those clothes must be expensive. And then, like, it's a fucking tradition. Like, they have to fucking trade those clothes around. And then it just kind of stays with Link for this entire adventure. Yeah. What happens to the motherfuckers who change age while Link's got the clothes? Just gotta buy a different pair. Is is this set of heroes' clothes also equipped with chain mail like the one from Twilight Princess? Probably not. Never mind. They're on the ocean. Yeah. In the that olden days, idea. in the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. With all ten people on the island, but we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about sword play. So we live on an island with a giant whale. Yeah. Why do I feel like that's a different Zelda game? Hanging. It is. <laughs> Hanging the family shield on the wall is decoration. Is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Did you just change it for your fucking grandma? The awesome. hell's wrong with you? Does all of this make sense to you? Also, this clothes going to be so fucking gross by the time we finish this adventure. <laughs> well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. So I'd better get start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's going to make her favorite soup for you tonight. To be mm. fair, soup is pretty fucking good. There's something about soup that you can just put it in the fridge and then eat it over the course of the next year. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go get your sister, Ariel. 
that ungrateful bitch who left me alone. Lonely. Forever. And then you just shatter your legs right when you fucking land there. Like just like, oh god! Oh god, why? Oh god, why? What the fuck? What the fuck? <clears throat> uh, uh, so let's go find Ariel. Unless there's shit you want to do here before we continue on. Yes. Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, how do I go into first person? No. No. I think it does automatically when it considers it a worthy time to do so. No, there was a way to do it, but I don't remember Apparently how. you just came from purgatory there. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm stealing the family fortune. Uh, it is. Wait, so a hundred coins is the family fortune? Yep, I'm just robbing us. Because my needs are more important than the needs of the family. Well, to be fair... I am well, the hero. Right now, you don't technically have a goddamn reason to take all this money. Nope. Right now, you're just being kind of an asshole. In fact, there's kind not of. even anywhere for you to spend this money. Sure there is. There's a boat parked out somewhere. Are you really going to swim out to the boat? Yes. It's not far off. Okay. Since was... you don't have a ship, they park it close by. Since, you know, it's a useful thing to have. See? It's right there. Wow. Oh. You're just attacking pigs? I'm collecting them because the lady gives you rupees. Because Gotta I'm catch them all, tiny pigs. And I'm avoiding this area specifically because I don't want to talk to the old man yet. Because he's old. <laughs> wow. Way to be a great person and respect your elders. Well, he tries to teach you the equivalent of Z-targeting, which is... ZL. LZ, <laughs> ZL, LZ targeting, which believe it or not, I don't need to learn. Well, look at all this money. I know. We're fucking rich, and we're only age. We're only age, yeah, yeah, you're correct. We're only age. No. That I man don't is want a cub chew. That boy is just a cub chew. Cub chew? Yeah. He really is. From black and white. Yep. I really like a lot of the black and white Pokemon, but... I just don't like Unova. I don't like the region. I will say this about it. The routes are incredibly long and samey, which really prevents it from feeling like an adventurer. It feels kind of like you're walking to the local grocery store, then it feels like you're traversing ruins and shit. Right. The, the best thing about black and white and by extension black and white too, it's definitely the antagonist end. And then, not really an antagonist in the sequel, I think I the reworking of a few of the systems. Because they changed the experience system and they changed, uh... And they added the uh, double encounter grass for more than just a few areas like it was in Platinum. Okay, um, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. And it's a human skull. What a pleasant surprise. 20 rupees. And here's our gratitude for bringing us new family members. And it's still a pleasant surprise. And finally, this is to congratulate you on working so hard on your birthday. Happy birthday to you! This woman just has enough money to randomly give you $60 when $100 is your family fortune. Yep. There is a serious economic wait, line in this wait. world. You know what bothers me? Is that, okay, they have three pigs. And when you come back later, there's only one. And it's the black one. What happens to the other two? She got fucking hungry. They're pigs. They're food. That's rude. Oh, do you know the reason why we don't drink pig's milk as a society? Why? Because pig's milk changes more based on their diet than cow or goat milk. Huh. And so it would make getting uh, pig's milk more unified a very difficult and almost impossible thing. He, he wants your junk. That was the dumbest joke I could have physically fucking made there, but that yeah. was the joke I made. Yeah. But I, I like this. <laughs> you have a point. Bye. No, no, I want to fight bait. Damn it. Don't you want to hoi, pair? Uh, not right now. Okay. I just want bait. Thank you. I want to master. Thank you. I want to master the use of this bait. I want to be a master baiter. Well. We both went and took for the lowest common joke there. So, you know. 
gotta get, really hitting a high note. Got, got to got to get him out early. But uh, we're at fifteen minutes. We're about fifteen minutes. A little shy, but yeah. So uh, <laughs> your fucking dance moves there. Can you do that again? He just fucking soars when you do that shit. Holy shit. Uh. Well, that's it for this episode. Perfect. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah, he wants to jump like us some fucking day. We can jump 30 feet sideways. Oh my god.